Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at the fourth program of the DBMS laboratory which is about the college database. So considering the schema for the college database, we have five tables that is student, sem, sec, class, course and IA marks. So coming to student table, you have the USN as the primary key. Coming to the SEMSEC table, you have SSID as the primary key. Coming to the class table, you have the USN as well as the SSID as the primary key. Since we do not have a unique primary key for this particular table, we take both the combination of both the primary keys of uh, some other table that is the student and SEMSEC respectively and make both of these as the primary key for the class table. Course table has the primary key as subcode. Coming to IMX table, you have the USN subcode SSID as the primary key. Since um, IMX table does not have a unique primary key, we take the combination of all the three tables that is student, uh, course table and TEMSEC tables primary key as the primary key of the IMX table. Coming to the create table, it's the same query, create table, table name and all the attributes with a particular data types. Uh, the primary key will be specified here itself and suppose you have some attributes that are referencing the other table so suppose here that is USN references student that is student table or uh, the attribute there is USN itself on the read cascade uh, you can look up to the lab 1 program that I've uploaded to actually know how the step by step manner to create the table uh, so again, the SSID references SEMSEC table and the attribute there is SSID on the read cascade and the primary key is uh, since we have two primary keys, uh, it will be primary key of USN comma SSID. So in the last table that is IA marks table, you have three primary keys. So last uh, you have a primary key that is uh, USN comma SSID comma subcode. So inserting values and after inserting values, you have uh, the queries. So the first query is about list all the student details studying in four semester C section. So make sure when you are entering the values, you should have a student that is studying at least one student that is studying in four sem C section. So they asked select S dot star. This means all so here we have taken the alias name for student table as s so s dot star refers to all the attributes in the student table s is the alias name given to the student table s is dot sem s is dot sec so here s s is given alias name given to sem sec table so s is dot sem is the sem attribute in the sem sec table and s is dot sec is the sec attribute in the that is section attribute in the sem sec table then you have class c also, why do you take this class C table also from class C? Because uh, while joining, uh, we do not have a common attribute between student table and SEMSEC table. That is why we take the class table also. So what you do is s.usn is equal to c.usn. By using this class table, you'll be joining these two tables. That is student and SEMSEC. How do you do it? The common attribute in student and class is USN. So s.usn is equal to c.usn. And it is like um, you will be joining these two tables as well that is MSEC and class by using a common attribute that is SSID. So C dot SSID is equal to SS dot SSID. So both of these tables have been joined by using the common table uh, that is the attribute in both of the table will be equated that is um, class by using class will be joining both of these tables then you'll be specifying a condition and sem equals to 4 as they have given in the question that is the query and sec is equal to c that is what is given in the question so we'll have the result where some student who has been studying in 4th mc section will be displayed so coming to the next query that is compute the total number of male and female students in each semester and each section so uh, select ss.sem ss.sec that is the semester and section from the semsec table that is by the last name ss then s.gender since uh, the semsec table does not have anything about the gender that is you have to take it from the student table so s.gender then they were asked you to count the total number of male and female students that is why count of s.gender as count here you are giving an alias name to this 
attribute that is count of s dot instead of having a attribute that is count of s dot gender you can have it as count so that is why as count then from the table student s semsec ss and class c the same thing goes here as we have done in the previous query that is in order to join the student and the semsec table we take the help of the class table that is s dot usn is equal to c dot usn and c dot ssid is equal to ss dot ssid after that you will be grouped by all of this by using the ss dot sem ss dot sec and s dot gender after you have grouped you will order these by using sem so it will be ordered by fourth sem eighth sem like that depending upon the sems you have feeded into the database depending upon that the least uh, sems will be ordered first then the greatest sems so order by sem so this is the result you will obtain and this is the gender thing and this is section thing and this is same thing the count of s dot gender will be as count so here a count attribute will be added that will have the number of males and females so that is about this query. Now coming to the third query, which is create a view of test one marks of student USN one B I one five C S one zero one in all courses. So you need to make sure that while entering the values in the student table, there must be an, a value for the USN of this particular USN. Otherwise, you won't be getting anything in the result. So to create a view create view view name as so here create view the view name here is two of test one uh two underscore test one as after that you will select sub code test one usn since you need the usn then you need the subject code then you need the test one marks you'll select these attributes from the i marks table and you'll specify a condition where usn is equal to this usn which they have specified in the question then you will ask the view to be displayed that is select star two underscore test one that will display the following result so it will only display the test one marks of the student having the usn this thing next calculate the final ia uh, i forgot to mention one thing while inserting the values uh, to the IM marks table while creating you will be creating as it is but while uh, inserting the values for the IM marks table you will leave the final a uh, final IA attribute uh, empty so here you can see in the IM marks table you have USN subject code SSID test 1 test 2 test 3 final IA while inserting the values you will be leaving the final a, IA attribute as empty so how do you do that see here insert into ia marks of usn subject code ssid test 1 test 2 test 3 then you close the bracket then values of all the uh, mentioned attributes will be specifying here final ia won't be specified in order to uh, escape of entering the final ia attribute we'll be uh, using this type of inserting the values uh, where you will be specifying the attributes that only attributes that you will be inserting the values for so that is uh, that is what is done while inserting the values for i marks table why is it is done is actually because in the query you will be updating the final i marks so final i marks is usually calculated after you have entered the test 1 test 2 test 3 marks so the there is a query that is the fourth query where you have to calculate the final i marks that is the average of best two test marks and update the corresponding table for all students so you need to update here so update which table that is the i marks table and you use the set keyword so update table name set then you have final i is equal to greatest of test 1 plus test 2 comma test 2 plus test 3 comma test 1 plus test 3 so it will take the greatest of the combination of two tests and then divided by 2 and that will be substituted in the final IA so you will ask select star from IA marks and this will be displayed which will be which will have the final IA updated so that is why you will not be uh, inserting the values for final IA when you are entering the values for the IMAX table so instead by, by using the query you will be updating the IMAX table for uh, uh, having the values for the final IA 
now come to the next one that is uh, categorize students uh, based on the following criterion so if final i is equal to 17 to 20 then uh, cat is equal to outstanding if final i is equal to 12 to 16 then cat equals to average if final i is less than 12 then cat equals to weak give these details only for a semester a b c section students so how do you do this so firstly you need to select what you need to select all the attributes from the student table that is why s dot star so it will select all the attributes from the student table then uh, you have a comma because you'll be using a case just like in swiss statement how we use case here also we'll be using case since we have different options for the final a so case first case is when IA dot final IA. Here we are taking an alias name for the IA marks table as IA, and the attribute that is final IA is from the IA marks table itself. So IA dot final IA is equal to 17 to 20 they have given. So when IA dot final IA between 17 and 20, then they have told us to give it as outstanding so we will be specifying it as outstanding then again next condition or the option when ia dot final ia is e that is between between they were asked from 12 and 16 then you need to specify it as average else whatever the other condition it's been specified as weak so you specify it as weak then you end the case statement you close the braces as since they've asked this to be in cat so you'll give an alias name as cat then you'll specify from which all the tables so from student s then you have semsec ss then you have um, subject code so the subject code attribute is in which table So subject code is in course table so you need the course table as well so course C then you need the IA marks table that is IA so then where you will join all of these tables to the IA marks by using the common attribute so we are taking the student it is USN so s dot usn is equal to ia dot usn so usn is the common attribute between the ia marks table and the student table so you'll use the usn attribute in order to join the student as well as the ia marks table and next one semsec table that is ss dot ssid ssid is the common attribute between the ia marks table and the semsec table and the next is calls that is c dot subject code is the common attribute so c dot subject code is equal to ia dot subject code so after you have joined all the conditions uh, that means that we have joined the table so after you have joined the table and you specify the sem that is in semsec table that is ss dot sem equals to 8 since they have asked only for the students studying in 8 semester so 8 you specify it as sem equals to 8 so this is the query for the last one so this is about the fourth program of the tbms laboratory and the link to this notes will be provided in the description box thank you guys